Most do not understand the innovative technologies of distributed ledger technologies, I'm here to educate. Most seem to think the tokenization of assets is the real innovation. And they would be correct but for the wrong reasons, most think that the exchange of currency online is the end goal, I'm here to tell you it's not. The tokenization of securities, properties, commodities, currency, debt, and any derivative contract is a life-changing innovation but most seem to be fixated on money. In the future all exchange of value will run on global distributed ledgers. But of course anyone in crypto will tell you this, but will they tell you why? No they won't because most don't know why, in the current global cooperation between corporations, states, and users there is a lot of friction, this friction makes doing trade risky and expensive, and entirely based on the economic conditions set before the age of the internet. With all this in mind when a large global corporation like Amazon or Google conduct business in multiple countries they essentially need their own proprietary payment network in each country, which is expensive, but this is nothing in comparison to stock and commodity trade. When a stock or commodity is traded by a broker the broker needs to provide the liquidity needed to facilitate the trade. If the liquidity is not there this could lead to a market meltdown due to people who otherwise would be making trades not being able to, and could crash the markets. This is a problem tenfold for derivatives, futures contracts and bonds, if there aren't enough participants in the market the market gets volatile and this is unstable for trade. Most in the crypto community will tell you their, proof of work coin will solve this. It won't. Some will say their, proof of stake coin will do this. It won't. Proof of work is too energy intensive and rudimentary with limited application. Not to mention the network is built to consolidate by having smaller miners progressively getting pushed off the network by the bigger miners. Anyone who's taken 10 seconds to read and compare these technologies can see that. And proof of stake is the same way. Except instead of using energy to consolidate the network it's who's got the biggest stake will control the network, what company, bank, country. Or developer would want to be on a network that can be consolidated and controlled by the biggest stakeholders and miners. It's a monopoly waiting to happen. Funny thing is people truly believe these systems are decentralized ha 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 that's funny. Not to mention in both these systems the network miners and stakeholders have no incentive to keep prices down meaning most of these systems will get progressively more expensive the more users that are on the network, and progressively slower to facilitate transactions. These networks get worse the more people on them. And less than 1% of the world holds crypto and as you can see a lot of minor fees are out of control never mind if the whole world used this. The distributed ledger that will merge all these markets with instant liquidity will be fast, cheap, efficient, competitive, and will allow for broader development of financial instruments for the global market. This answer is obvious but most have been fooled with unrealistic libertarian dreams of technology they barely have an understanding of. Most will lose everything because of this. Mostly due to chasing green candles and screaming this is the future because I'm getting rich. We are in the greatest bubble of all time. Focus on the underlying technology and you will see the future.